Good morning! Welcome each of you and those who are at home to be with us in this Mass. We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Together with the whole church, we celebrate the 17th Sunday in ordinary time. And Jesus today invites us to try our best to search for the poor with a great value. So we ask for the grace to serve for Jesus, for God, uh, God's love, so that we can be at peace and worthy to receive Jesus in this Holy Eucharist and His Word. We say sorry for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. of those who hope in you without whom nothing has formed foundation nothing is holy bestow in an abundance your mercy upon us we and grant that with you as our ruler and guide we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that 
ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. The word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for the good of those who love God. You who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again. And out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for five pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. It's good to see you all again. I'm using the short version of the Gospel. So, we know very clear about God. So the good seed. And Jesus as a good seed of God, the greatest one, the best one, God showed into the world. And Jesus became a man to preach the kingdom of God, to defeat the devil. And Jesus gave the Holy Spirit to those who believe in Him. Another good seed, the Holy Spirit. And Jesus established the church. And we are blessed, we belong to the family of Jesus in the church, in God's kingdom here on earth. Because of our faith. And the kingdom of God is among us, but is still hidden, and not in the fullness yet. And many of us discover God's kingdom in the way we believed and allow ourselves to be baptized. And God's kingdom is given to us kind of 
generally if freely. It's just like the person finds a treasure in kind of accidentally. He's not really searching for that. He's just doing his job in the field. And then he discovers the treasure. The kingdom of God given to us as the believers in that simple way. We believe and we allow ourselves to be baptized. And we belong to God's kingdom here on earth. And we thank God for that. The faith of our parents, our ancestors. The faith of the church. And many of us found the joy when we repair ourselves for baptism. We sacrifice, we organize, and we know that. I did a baptism yesterday for a family. And they are so joyful because their son received the baptism. But the challenge for us, you and me, along the way, we are blood to God's kingdom. We are the treasure. And we have the treasure in our life. We have a poor. But the challenge in life up and down, we are not paying attention in that poor. In the treasure. We we're searching for something else. We have another treasure outside our faith. It could be what happened in our mind with idea or our heart with desire. And we know that clearly in the value of life, how we live our, our faith in this world, in this society. It's understandable in that way. But today, Jesus invites you and me to take a look again in our life. That sometimes we not value the poor among the Jesus we have. We forget the great price of the poor. We forget that we belong to the church. We belong to Jesus is the greatest poor. And we forget about the sacraments. That's the five pearls that we need to have in our life. We forget that. That's why we sell the pearls. We sell for somebody who's searching. Just like a person in the gospel, whoever. The gospel didn't say, but that person had pearls, and it's there for the merchant who searching for that, because the merchant he knows that great price. So we sell away our words that we forget our sacraments, we forget about Jesus at mass, we forget about the gospel value. We forget about the church. And that happened in our life up and down. It happened with our loved ones. It happened in our country. The great birds, uh, our ancestors built up in this country. We forgot. And we, we sell that away. And we're searching something else, in not a fine world. And that makes we are in trouble now. As I mentioned uh, last week, we invite about the enemy of God, the devil, come and rule us. And we allow it's the church of Satan. It's not in the mind of God. 
They have one us to serve for the poor. Because we are believers. So we need to rethink again what happened in our life, in our church, with the faith of each one of us, the faith of our loved ones, the faith of our country. That we try to fight for the five poor with great values that we know is the sacrament of God, the Holy Eucharist, the value of the gospel. God Himself. And thank you for each of you to be here that you are the good merchant searching for the great words. But we need to do more for our loved ones. God himself, he served for the poor that he created human being, the good seed. And he showed in the way that he don't want human being to be lost. He sell what he had. The father sell in the way that we call he give up his own son. And again, he sell in the way he give the Holy Spirit to human beings so that he can save us. That we are the five pores of God in the image and likeness. That's the love of God. And in Jesus, in his turn, he saw what he has. He saw in a way that he gave up himself, his own life, as a man. So that he can save us as the poor in his own blood. He is searching for that poor that each one of us to save us. And that God did in his, his own time and every time, every day, God again do it. And God waiting for us to come to serve for him. And that we need to open our mind, our heart, and pray to God. Ask for the grace like King Solomon. Ask for understanding of heart so that we can serve for Jesus in His Word, in His real presence in the Mass, and His presence in each sacrament. Especially the confession. So that we can repair ourselves clean and clear with our conscience to receive Jesus in each Mass that we come here. And that's why I offer to you in this week, tomorrow, Monday, until Friday, for those who want to have confession, to receive Jesus, to have peace in your heart. So come here in the morning, I'm here from 10 to 11. One hour in the morning, Monday to Friday, and we just standing and do week. And I think we need to fall in line this way because of the heat, the shake, but this way is so hot. So you can park your car another side and form a line here. Keep a social distance with a mask on. And that in the morning, in the evening, uh, in the afternoon, I will be another side near Virgin Mary statue for one hour from three o'clock to four o'clock, from Monday to Friday. And you can form a, a line again in this way. You park your car here, you form a line with a shake of uh, near the, the wall, so that it cannot be, be too hot. 
And I see that. That way we can rethink again and reconcile ourselves back to God that God is a five parts, the grace that's prized with His forgiveness so that we can be at peace because God is searching for us. So we need to allow ourselves to search God in the sacrament of confession. That helps us to be worthy to receive Jesus when we attend in Mass. And I encourage you to do it if you need and your loved ones. So from Monday to Friday, in the morning, 10 to 11, here, from this line, parking your car on the side, in the afternoon, 3 to 4, near Statue of Mary, parking here and from a line over there. And I hope to see you there in a way that we try to purify ourselves, to avoid the weaknesses that sometimes we forget, the great pores in our life. May God continue to help us and keep us from the evil one, keep us safe, keep our family safe, keep our country safe, so that everyone here in the U.S., that those who believe her, we need to under God as a bigger family, American, and a bigger family as church. God bless you and all your loved ones. Amen. Let us now, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not man, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now together with the church we offer our prayer to God with our open hearts. For the Church of Christ and all who dwell within her, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all our national and local civil servants, and for all who assist them in their governance, may God grant them wisdom and understanding hearts. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all who grieve the loss of a loved one who died from the effects of the coronavirus, may God console them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For us and our communities, our family and friends, may God grant us courage and guide our words as we share our faith with those we meet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the youth and family, may the love of God always protect them and guide them through their parents and loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are lost, especially in this mass, we pray for all the members of the community of St. John who pass away. May they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. This Mass also offer with a special intention for Santiago Razo, Claudia Angelica Razo. And we also pray for the birthday of Father Michael and Mary Cow. May God bless them and keep them with His grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For each one of us and our loved ones and whoever we pray for, we promise that may God keep us in peace with the sacraments we receive and keep us as a family of love and holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers that we voice to you and answer them according to your will. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
my brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred miseries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. <laughs> saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the misery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving hands that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spiritual out of the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember those whom we pray today in this Mass. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed you, Yosef, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be going out to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all our glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. the Savior's command and from the divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant me in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, He who has away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are at home cannot receive the Holy Communion, we pray this prayer for your spiritual uh, communion with God. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit you to be separated from you. Amen. As a reminder, please wait until the ushers invite you out of your car and then make your way to the front passenger side standing on the blue cross that is there in front of your car. Thank you.
we have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So again, hope to see you at the confession, if you can, a different time, and uh, encourage your loved ones as well, your friends. And just only this week, Monday to Friday, in the morning, 9 to 10, uh, 10 to 11, right here, standing. In the afternoon, 3 to 4, at the Blessed Virgin Mary statue, standing. And thank you each of you to be here in this Mass, and thank you for being very good merchants searching for God's kingdom, the greatest value of Jesus. Thank you the choir, those who are serving this Mass. Thank you for the church and uh, brother uh, Simarin to be with us and everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And those who are at home, thank you as well. And now we ask God to bless each one of us in uh, this wonderful week. The Lord be with you. Spirit. May the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you and your family with peace. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.